For Jacob, having a bowl of yummy snacks is essential while watching his TV series. Emily tries to be nicer, but then again, such a level of greediness doesn't go too well with her. This guy is absorbing them without chewing. There will always be a sugar addict who wants to empty your snack bowl. That is why dogs dig a hole and hide their bones under trees. Maybe it's possible to hide some of the candy under a fake one. First of all, let's pull it out of the vase and use a small handy saw to cut out most chunks of the bottom foundation. An instant noodle bowl or any other leftover paper can with the same width will work as our base instead. Just drop a layer of glue and firmly place the plant inside. Now plant your candy within the vase and cover it perfectly with a newly redesigned tree foundation. You might want to put some extra dirt on top to make it even more convincing and disguise the candy better. Perfect! Emily can now quietly enjoy her candy for her secret snack stash. You can try your best, Jacob, but you're not going to find a single sweet here. Ha! Emily already learned her lesson. No candy for you this time, honey. <laughs> Madison, did you prepare your homework for literature class? The final countdown is on. With nowhere to run, she picks Emma's USB key without a blink and gives it to Mrs. Doobie as her own. The woman expects the same from Emma. It was definitely here just a second ago. No homework, no good grades, dear. Emma recognizes the exact culprit who stole her homework. Now all Emma needs is a counteraction plan. Those spare physical education tennis balls might actually be a good prevention against burglary. All she needs to do is make a stray cut through the ball so the USB key would fit in. The malevolent teacher is coming to take the students' homework. Sadly, Madison finds just some irrelevant things like a spare tennis ball on Emma's table. Meanwhile, the nerdy girl pulls her own homework out of the tennis ball and her dignity as a good student is back. Finally, Madison gets the mark she deserves, detention. <laughs> Madison is really eager to show Emma this guy that she met online. But when you're at a bar, be aware of smugglers that are waiting for an opportunity to pickpocket your wallet. Being a considerate friend, Madison would like to bear both of their costs. She's expecting to have her wallet right where she left it, but it's all gone. Madison feels paralyzed by thinking about all the cash that was inside. And I guess a pack of bubble gum won't be enough to pay the bill. Just take a single piece of gum out of its wrapper. Time to change the contents of the sweets into something pricier. Fold your paper cash inside in the shape of a gum. Turn those sweets into cash. Wrap it into foil and put it back into the package. Our pocket chewing gum money stash is up and ready. Now, our friend here won't even find anything to steal. What are you looking at, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Just be sure to keep track of your gums, Madison. You might end up giving out slightly pricier mouth refreshers than intended. <laughs> Jessica needs some cash to grab a bus and she finds it strange that her cute piglet doesn't hold a single penny. Oh yes, it's time for Emily to make her run. This little swindler, at least she left her bowl with snacks. Wait a minute, piggy bank? This little piglet may serve as a decoy. Let's take an empty cola can and cut it in half. We'll cover the edges with duct tape. Try not to cut your fingers during the process. Be careful because Jessica is. Insert the can inside a jar full of dried corn. Put some more of those grains around the can. And this is where your money goes in. Paper or coins doesn't matter. Close the jar and you get a casual looking dried corn bank. Now there's going to be no more savings for Emily to take. The piggy bank will stay as poor as Emily without Jessica's earnings. She would definitely have more luck if she tried to harvest corn. Maybe it's time for you to get a job, Emily. <laughs> Meanwhile, a bus ride won't be the only thing Jessica will afford. When Emily finds an article about webcam hackers, paranoia takes over. Someone might actually be watching through this tiny little eye above her screen. Emily is going through all kinds of possible scenarios in her mind. 
At this very moment, some kind of intruder may be trespassing her private territory without any permission. What if it's someone familiar? Or maybe it's a super intelligent life form from a distant planet. She could stick a bubble gum on it. But um, uh, no, it looks quite disgusting. Maybe her own scarf. Well, that's not the best way to view the screen, is it? Hmm, maybe a sticky note. Although I've seen this in many offices, it's very unlikely that it will hold. Maybe this keychain name tag might get useful. It just needs a little upgrade to make it perfect. Firstly, remove the tag itself and flip it over. Put a piece of double-sided tape in order to stick it out on the webcam. Crop a small square for the cam eye. Cut a slice of a cute washi tape on a piece of paper to make it look flashier. Make it the right width and cut a nice round edge. Now, slide it smoothly into the keychain and blind those hackers with rainbows. Now, Emily is getting a lot of attention from her friends, noticing this colorful pride covering the webcam. Being a thoughtful friend, she made a personalized one for each of the girls. Ladies, don't let those cyber stalkers get to you. So long, Mr. Stranger. Hope you never see us again. Ha! Jess is about to head out on a double date with the boys, and she wants to add an extra touch for the occasion. She seems to be on the hunt for her favorite earrings. Where could they be? Jess is usually quite uptight about these things, and it looks like Emily was a bit sneaky while waiting for her friend. Do you mind if we get them back, girl? Some people just can't be bothered to ask things in the first place. And then you're treated like the bad guy. Jess feels like her privacy was invaded and has an idea of a furry friend who could protect her stuff in the future. I know you won't like this step, but we're about to temporarily chop off his head. Ouchie. Grab yourself a jar and glue the head to the very top. It's better to do it on the edges, but keep in mind it doesn't need to look too nice. Third step. Insert the jar inside the body piece and use hot glue to stick the edges to the sides of the jar. This will take you a couple of minutes. Voila, you're done. Now just drop all of your precious belongings inside the jar. It can be pretty much anything. Lock the jar and cover the clip with a bow tie. There we go. After her date, Jess comes back home and can stash her earrings away for her safekeeping. Keep up the good work, buddy. We're counting on you. And now, your jealous roommates won't be able to snag your accessories anymore. Funnily enough, the stash is going to be right in front of them. Good luck finding those earrings, Emily. <laughs> Jessica is checking out some art at a gallery and a pickpocketer is keeping an eye on her goods. That's quite an easy grab, Jess. Although it only took Jess seconds to realize her money is missing, the guy is probably long gone. Why not prevent this in the first place? Lay down an old shirt. We'll want to cut out a piece of fabric and place it down on the inner part of your shorts. Use a needle to stew it on. Keep in mind it doesn't need to look perfect because once it's flipped outside out, we won't be seeing it at all. Jess can now travel with her cash stashed within her secret pocket. Nobody will even know it's there. Hey, $2 for a croissant. They must be cheap here. <laughs> Emily is going overseas and is almost finished packing her stuff. Come on, girl, we don't have all day. Also, not sure if pocketing that amount of cash is a good idea. Now you have to find a good place to stash it. And it looks like you already found it. First, open up your hairbrush. It's quite easy to do with the most of them. Bend and roll your money in a tube. You want to save as much space as you can. Slide it inside and put the edges back in. Perfect. Nobody will have a clue about your hidden money stash within this harmless hairbrush. 
will be our little secret. Hey panda lovers, I hope you enjoyed these packs. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.